Hey, what's going on, peeps? It's Spiderman here once again with another film review. And this time I'm talking about a Serbian sci-fi film. Yes, I said a Serbian sci-fi film. I don't think I've ever seen a Serbian sci-fi film. And I hadn't seen a sci-fi film in a while, so I gave it a go. I watched this, and wow. This was certainly different than your typical sci-fi android uh, lady type films. So, this film is about this astronaut named Milutin and um, goes on these missions, these space missions, and he, he gets a, accompanied by this uh, female android named Nimani, I think her name was. And so, very attractive cyborg, by the way. <laughs> But yeah, so he ends up falling in love with her, and the more he ends up falling in love with this cyborg, uh, the more she becomes human. She starts uh, experiencing these human emotions, so she becomes, I guess, more real than a cyborg would would have to be, you know? Um, yeah, and this film is not that long. It's like barely an hour and 24 minutes, I think, and... It's very visual, there's a lot of visual effects, and for maybe a low budget film like this, I thought the effects were pretty good. Um, the the female that plays the cyborg uh, android lady is actually, is actually a Serbian uh, porn star, and there is a lot of nudity in this film. You see a lot of her, you know, naked body, and... Which kind of made me think, well, this is maybe like one of those like uh, sci-fi art house films, which it kind of does have that feel to it. Like 75% of the film um, is the astronaut and the cyborg uh, lady having sex, um, you know, if you could have sex with a cyborg, I guess. Um, first time this happens, it's, uh, it's you know... It's not uh, consensual, so, you know, it, did, it does have some disturbing elements to it, but I felt that this film, um, I don't know, it was different, because I hadn't seen, I guess, a film like this, maybe ever since uh, Over the Black Rainbow, um, but I don't know what to make of this film, I mean, the actress that plays uh, Nemani, very attractive woman, uh, very very good job acting but like the astronaut the, the guy playing the astronaut terrible actor terrible facial expressions like yeah this guy <laughs> he could have got somebody else and um uh, i don't know i mean would i recommend this film to you? anybody that's into sci-fi yeah like if you're looking for something different if you're looking for you know uh something different than your usual sci-fi i guess art house film for sure check it out um but it's nothing i don't want to say this movie's great but it is worth checking out just for the fact that it tries to do something different um i felt like with the story they didn't know where to go towards the end um but it's not one of those happy endings that you you might get with a typical sci-fi film um yeah i i did like the the girl that played the Nemani, I did like that, and I like some like the the visual style of this movie was filmed, and I think a lot of people should like check into it. You know, watch it at your local theater or stream it, rent it. Um, this is definitely a unique film, and I was not expecting what I saw in this film. You know, what I did see. Um, so it's, it's sort of it's good enough to watch. Give it a watch. It's called Edelizer Rising or AI Rising. Um, not to be confused with, I think there's another movie called AI, but yeah, this ain't it. And for a movie that's uh, a Serbian sci-fi, I thought it was pretty good. You know, I don't think I've ever seen a Serbian sci-fi film like this. So for that alone, I think it deserves to be watched. It's a very unique film. So uh, yeah, like, comment, and subscribe. 
and I will see you guys later. We're almost to 100 subscribers, so smash that sub button, all right? Peace.